hey guys it's z here back with another tutorial i hope you all are doing great so in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to make that clone effect plus we'll give some movement to it too now for that what you have to do is adjust your cutout and the background uh, first you need to change your ratio from 34 or whatever it is to 16 9 then add the background first and then above the background add the cutout now we'll start the editing so for that what you have to do is copy paste the cutout and then what you have to do next is go to the next beat and then cut it two frames to the left and now we'll start adding keyframes go to the starting of this cutout and then add all the keyframes by pressing the upper one next what you have to do is go to the next beat and then go two frames to the left and then add uh, a keyframe there of all, all keyframes and then zoom out a bit now next what you have to do is change the rotation from 0 to minus 35 and then adjust it like me and then check it like if it's looking good or no after checking that it looks good what you have to do is go to the next speed and then go two frames to the left and now change the values back to normal as they were in the starting After doing this, go to the end of the clip and then change the value of rotation from 0 to 35 and then zoom out the same as you did in the starting in the second uh, in the second keyframe. Then what you have to do is change the value of x and y according to the second keyframe. You have to see the value like whatever the value was there, change it according to that. For me, it was minus 486, so I changed it to 486 if it is in minus change it to plus and the value of y will be the same as it was in the second keyframe and now after you have done this what you have to do next is add graphs so for the graphs you can use ease out 2 if you like like you don't use custom graphs so you will you will use ease out 2 in all of these keyframes uh, but if you use custom graphs you have to do them manually and make sure to make these graphs perfect because uh, if you don't do the graphs accurate it will not look good and now after doing the graphs you have to add aura like you usually do if you want to add your own aura you can just add your own or, or if you want my aura tell me in the comments i'll make a tutorial on that too now if you want that colorful effect on the cutout uh, for that what you have to do is go to effects in nightclub you will find a uh, effect called colorful in pc what you have to do is just drag it on the picture and make it speed 100 and it will be done and in mobile i think so there you have an option where you can just use the effect on one layer or something like that you will just do it from there and then in mobile what you have to do is export this and in PC just compound clip it by pressing alt and G key or by right clicking on it and click on compound clip and then by right clicking it again click on pre-process it will reduce the lag and now after doing this change the ratio from 16.9 to 3.4 and then make the clip as big as the screen like it should fit the screen and now add a keyframe in the starting then go two frames left to the next beat, add a keyframe there and then go to the starting and then zoom in a bit so it should zoom out. After this go to the next beat then go two frames to the left and change the rotation from 0 to 35 and after that what you have to do is zoom in and you have to set the clone like it should be in the center just like me like I'm doing it it is in the center like it looks good. You have to check it once or twice like if it's looking good or no. If it looks good then continue it and then go to the next speed, go two frames to the left and then change everything back to normal like it was in the starting. After this go to the end of the clip and then change the rotation from 0 to minus 35 and then you have to zoom in. After zooming in adjust the clone like it should be in the center as you did before and after doing this you have to do the graph. You can do the same graph as you did in the starting like add ease out 2 if you like but if you do custom graphs you can do your custom graphs too just like I am doing it. And now in mobile you have to export the clip but in PC just compound clip it by pressing alt and g at the same time and after that pre-process it and you have to add like motion blur 
go down in the basics of the video and then click on motion blur blur 30 and blend 100 and direction should be both and speed should be once after the motion blur is applied you can export your video it's complete